Shalom, Shalom. This your brother Ashba. Shalom. Brother Avrawan here. Shalom, I know. First off, we want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakapadash. We also want to give a double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well with truth and sincerity, who we learn from daily, Lord willing, and salutations to the overly elect. And through the Spirit, the topic of this lesson is going to be these words are pure, but mainly the word pure because we was basically, you know, pondering, thinking of little topics and then we decided to choose the word pure. And through the Spirit, I believe Apostle Taha name means pure. Okay. So we're going to start off with the definition of the word pure. And this comes from Interment Online, uh, the word pure, mid 13th century of gold unalloyed 13th century unmixed unadulterated homog homogeneous also total complete absolute bare mere um it can go some other things but yeah, we don't want to get it yeah, yeah that's good enough yeah mm -hmm. and it's uh, unaltered undult adulterated unmixed pure because basically the, the scriptures is what makes us whole we're not, and we, and it, and it doesn't have to be mixed with anything else because, as the scriptures say, no scripture is of private interpretation. Mm -hmm. So once you had the truth, like the elders and the apostles, great millstone on down, been teaching the people that learn the truth that teach the same likewise doctrine. That's why we say that we had the hundred percent truth. Mm -hmm. So anybody that's stating that no one has the hundred percent truth, don't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. But first scripture I'm going to grab is John chapter 1 because Yahweh Shai is the word. It reads, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. So that's talking about Yahweh Shai in the beginning because Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book. And it says he's, he, in the beginning, the word was with God and the word was God and Yahweh Shai is the word. And that's why the man that understands this truth basically has the light. The light is shining in us and we're not in darkness anymore. Mm -hmm. So that means that the word is pure because it's basically ultimately Yahweh Shai. Through this pure word, man, it's how we able to worship and rejoice through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So this is Philippians 3 and verse 1. It says, and you know the, the headline to it, it says, that I may win Yahweh Shai, the Mashiach. And that's what the title of this chapter is. It says, finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you, to me. Indeed, is not grievous, but for you, it is safe. Beware of dogs, beware of evil workers, beware of the concisions, for we are the circumcisions which worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai in the spirit and rejoice in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai and have no confidence in the flesh. So, you know. Our confidence, our faith, and our hope lies within these faithful and true words, man, which is the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And um, that by us being able to be changed through the Spirit, as far as to what, what we were focused on, what we profess. You know, we used to have that Christianity doctrine going across the world, and you know, that uh, Islam doctrine. But with us being able to turn away from the wickedness of this world, by the words of, of pure, by the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, we able to turn back, man, and seek our seek our Savior, because the ones that's not seeking Him right now won't have that opportunity when it comes down to it. So, uh, let me get the Book of Psalms and Salaki while I get it up. Just trying to work out this war today, you know. So this is Psalms one nineteen, and um. Psalms 119 and verse 50. Okay. 
uh, Psalms 119 and verse 50, it says, This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. The proud have made me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law. I remember thy judgments of old, O Lord, and have com and comforted myself. Horror has taken hold upon me, because the wicked that forsake thy laws. Thy statues have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. So just like in um second address 16 and 40 say, man, it says, Hear my it says, my brethren, hear my word and ready thyself for the battle. Re roughly paraphrasing, man. What we're going through right now is a spiritual battle that we're facing, we're up against uh, the wiles of the devil, man. But by this word, we're able to be able to be paying attention, to be comforted, because you how about Shimmy Al Shah through his word, he will be comforting in us, man. Because everybody else that don't have these uh, the words of truth, they're, anything is going to come upon them. The worst of the worst. Because Jacob's trouble is a time that we haven't seen before. So with us understanding that, you know, we should be upon our watch, man. Warning the Lord's people with, this, with these words that are faithful and true, man. Just like it says um, it's in uh, 2nd Edges 15 and 1. It says, um, let me get it up. I got it. Second Edges 15 and 1. Because these are those pure words that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah was speaking on that we're supposed to be bringing out, which is the words of prophecy, man. So 2nd Edges 15 and 1. It says, Salaki. Second Hadrus 15 and 1, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So none of these words are coming from our feelings or coming from inside of us. Like Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, he's putting these words in us for us to bring out, which is the words of him. So we're bringing out the testimony of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai because verse 2 it says, and cause them to be written on paper, for they are faithful and true. So these pure words that come in the volume of the book, like the Lord said, for lo, I come in the volume of the book. These are the words that is prophecy. Not all these other doctrines that are swimming around the world or that they're just pushing out there upon our people. You have to be able to understand and pray for that spirit of discernment. So when the words of truth are coming out, you're able to actually take on hold unto it through the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And, you know, if one of y'all brothers want to uh, pick up from there, you can. Okay. Yesterday at the camp, at the D.C. camp, mm -hmm. um, we witnessed a couple of demons that come up. Uh, basically, half naked with uh, nothing but bra and panties on. Mm -hmm. um, saying, I'm, I'm Italian. We, we ought to get together and... Mm -hmm. Um, she's dangling a cigarette and she's disturbing and every time when we speak the word uh, that those demons really come out and as one of the uh, elders of the camp said that we got to fight our people mm. we got to fight the so-called uh, Edomites mm -hmm. and we got to fight demons and every time that we speak those words those pure words uh, they always come out now, she was looking for some sympathy or looking for some attention as well. And she said she was raped. So, we kept speaking those words. And the more time we kept speaking those words, I've heard things like, Oh, y'all don't know what you're talking about. You guys are Muslims. You damn Muslims. Uh, you need to go to hell. You know, you need to get off this corner. You sons of uh, bees or whatnot. We got cursed out every time when we bring out the word. Now, going back to what Day King David said, he says, the words of the Lord are pure words as silver tried in the furnace, purified seven times. And seven times basically is uh, a biblical number uh, saying completion. Mm -hmm. um, and those things that come out all the time, every time that we're out on the corner in the highways and byways, in the alleys, we gotta put up with strong ammonia, mm -hmm. uh, urine, People that's dancing non-stop uh, we get a, all with and the thing about it 
we're always surrounded by uh, angels camped about us. Mm -hmm. It says, what's that in Psalms 34 and 3? 34 and 7. 34 mm -hmm. and 7? Okay, yeah. So um, that's it. You know, for uh, there are more words. I mean, I got one more, one more. Um, and bear with the brother while he's pulling out the precepts, it. you know. Got it, got it. You got it, bro. Um, Proverbs fifteen twenty six: The thoughts of the wicked are abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant mm -hmm. words. So every time that we speak the words out on the highways and byways, we see all kind of demons just repel. They come up to the camp, they try to come sideways uh, when I'm uh, on post. They they try to creep in unawares, but we see, we got your eyes on you now. We see what you're doing. So, uh, you know, be careful now because, you know, there are consequences for what you say and what you do. Yeah, how about Shemi Shah? He's gonna step us and save. He's gonna step up and save us from these these enemies, man. These adversaries that want to come and buck up against the words of truth, man. So uh, this is songs. Because yeah, because yeah, when that when that lady started acting like a demon, mm -hmm. another demon hopped on her and started attacking her and telling her the um to go ahead and move on. And and then the lady actually said. That God, God got y'all. That's what the lady said when the demon hopped on her and started attacking that demon. Yeah. But go ahead. So this is Psalms 144, and I'm going to start at um, verse 2. And then I'm just going to jump down to 11. It says, verse 2, it says, He is my protector and defender, my shelter and savior, in whom I trust for safety. He subdues the nations under me. So Yahweh Shem Yahushai is that he that's protecting us and defending us and making his house and his tabernacle become the shelter that we need so that we can actually be actually intact when salvation is at hand, man. Because Jacob's trouble is going to come down to the fact that our enemies are going to come in with great wrath. So understanding that, I'm going to jump down to verse 11 this psalms 144 and 11 it says save me from my cruel enemies and this is in a, uh, the good news translation it says save me from my enemies rescue rescue me from the powers of foreigners who never tell the truth and lie even under oath so understanding that these uh, the wiles of the devil man goes all the way back to what they're going to these crafty devices that they're going to push man they saying that oh everything's okay when that c19 came out it was only four time period and everybody got back out into the world but this time it's going to come down to a shutdown and if you're not paying attention to these words that are pure man during the times that is is actually you able to receive it it's going to come down to a time where you're not going to have none of it because the famine of the word is coming are you saying the grace period is coming to a, a screeching halt soon? Hey, that's right. You know? To back up uh, what I said, uh, so like you. Uh, you got it. You got the water for, um, for back me up on Psalms 34 and 7. Mm -hmm. uh, the angel of the Lord encamp around them that fear him and delivereth them. Yeah. Uh, the water for it. Uh, you know? The angels are <laughs> camp around about, man, keeping that defense up oh, against the wiles of the devil. You gotta ask. Yeah, that's why you gotta fear the Lord, cause mm -hmm. that's that's the, the treasure, the fear of the Lord. But a lot of people doesn't have it. But I'm gonna go and grab James chapter one, and I'm gonna start at verse 21 and reads, "Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and super, superfluity of naughtiness, mm -hmm. and receive with meekness the engrafted word, mm -hmm. which is able to save your souls." That's right. And that's what we're trying to tell our people to do, but. As we know, according to scriptures, two thirds of our people are not going to listen or hearken, but we still have to do this work. Mm -hmm. And when I say our people, as I like to always um, basically let it be known that it, I'm talking about the Israelites mm -hmm. from the chosen seed line of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob got his name changed to Israel, mm -hmm. which today consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners that look like heathen but are not because the father's seed traces back to an Israelite. Mm -hmm. the, these are the Lord's people. 
not the other um, 17 nations outside of Israel. Those are heathen, especially our biggest enemy, the so-called white man who forefathers Esau Edom. Mm -hmm. This is his kingdom and is about to come to an end. Mm -hmm. Like the Akin Ak was just talking about that the great spirit is closing and these devils know they're coming down with great wrath. So only person, only people that's going to be able to deliver and save you during that time to come is your how about Shem Yahushua. But I'm going to continue on. It reads, but because the positive Taha was basically stressing that once you learn this word, you got to get out here and do this work and, and teach if the Lord put this, if, basically if the Lord put the spirit on you to do so. It reads, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving mm -hmm. your own self. For if any be a, a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he is, he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. So like the scriptures say, I believe in Hebrews 6 and 10, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is not, for, roughly paraphrasing, won't forget your labor and love. So you're supposed to be, you know, doing the work and having faith because the scriptures say, I believe in um, James chapter 2 and I think it's, um, yeah, and I'm just grabbing in verse, it starts at verse 14. What doth it profit? My brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works, can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warm and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead, man alone. Yeah, man may say, Thou hast faith and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Because, like I said, if you look at the last life of Apostle Taha and Gabbai, the apostles and elders, you'll see that he stressed that when you learn this word, you're supposed to go out here and teach this word. Because basically, if you don't, you basically like hiding your talents, basically hiding your talents or putting your candle under a, under a um, cover and not spreading this light. This light. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai said, feed his lambs. Mm -hmm. Psalms 119 verse 140. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. Mm -hmm. So every time that we read the word, we are actually, we are commanded to love this word. Mm -hmm. We have no other choice to but do it. Yeah. So therefore, uh, the more we are, as, a, as I often hear from uh, Elder Apostle Rakar, uh, the father of uh, repetition, that you must keep on practicing the word. You must read it, and therefore you must do it. Mm -hmm. uh, like the uh, the beloved brother Ashba was going into, man, in James one, and I'm in twenty one. I'm gonna get it in the NIV because it, it gets straight to the point. It says, "Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent, and humbly." Accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. So just like he was saying, man, you cannot just get this by just hearing, man. You have to put this into your everyday life, let alone the fact to to actually fully back up what the brother was saying about how you can't just get this by just listening, you have to be able to do it also. And the only way you'll be able to do it is through the faith of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, like the brother was going into. So Hebrews 11 and verse six in the uh, good news, it says, no one can please God without faith. For whoever comes to God must have faith that God exists and reward those who seek him. So in order for you to be on the, the reception plate, of salvation and any gifts that's coming from your how by Shimmy Hawa Shah will be through your faith and it won't just be through works like the beloved brother was going into. You got it, bro.
Who was the first scripture you got? The first one was yeah. uh James one and twenty one in the uh, NIV. Oh, okay. So it was just uh laying back and off what you just oh, read. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Well I'm gonna go from there to um Second Timothy chapter two and I'm gonna start at verse one. It reads, Thou therefore my son be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, mm. and the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Yeah. And that's talking about this pure word. And that also basically goes into more into the fact that, like I said, Apostle Taha basically said, we once you learn this word, you start to teach the word, and of course. Yahweh Shemri Shah is going to send the people that's, that it's meant to get to, and they're supposed to go out as far as in the men and teach as well. Mm -hmm. And also, the women, y'all are supposed to do y'all part as far as in, you know, being, doing what's pleasing in the sight of Yahweh Shemri Shah, mm -hmm. and possibly helping out the men of the Lord the best way you can, and listening in silence, mm -hmm. and not trying to go out and teach. Like some of these wicked women in a, in, a, in this world try to do, especially like they said, the y'all the y'all Israelite women that that try to skip certain verses and stuff, like First mm -hmm. Corinthians fourteen and thirty four, when it says that they that Apostle Paul said basically he command he believe commanded women to be silent in the church, roughly paraphrasing, mm -hmm. in First Timothy two and eleven, basically not to usurp authority over a man or to teach. Mm -hmm. But you, you had something. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. This is the book of Psalms 33, and I'm gonna start at verse four. It says, "For the words of the Lord is right, and all His works are done in truth. He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord." Verse six it says, "By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them." By the breath of his mouth, so you know that um, that that uh, that breath that was putting into us because we were in dead estates at first, man. We were just those dead bones, man, that the Lord was going into in the valley of dry bones, man. We just was those bones at first, but with this breath being in, inside of us, man, we are able to actually seek out the life and sing unto the Lord a new song, which is these words of purity, and and you know. By us doing those things, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is the one that's going to step in, and you know, his, like he said, man, his counsel endure forever. So with us changing our ways and, and uh, uh, mortifying the deeds of the body through the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, like he said, man, I must I'm gonna go down to verse ten. It says, "The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught; he maketh." the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. So Yahweh Hashem Shai's thoughts, man, is, is what's gonna uh, what play out. Like he said, speak unto the ears of my people prophecy, which is the thoughts and the will that Yahweh Hashem Shai wants to, us to be professing, man. He don't want us to be uh, going into this worldly uh, desires. Like Proverbs 1 and uh, what's that, 22 going to? How long ye simple ones will love simplicity? You know, the scorners scorn and they delight. Roughly paraphrasing, and scorners delight. So, you know, uh, they would love to continuously profess these worlds, these worldly things that's out here. But if you have the word of truth, which is the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, then you have that way of actually becoming uh, separate from the wicked, man. You have a way to becoming on the side of righteousness because the wicked they're gonna follow after anything that's wicked. And if you want, if you know, Job nine and twenty four goes into it, man. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked, so everything that's portraying out in this world here is all wickedness. And until Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah steps in and change things around, we won't see righteousness, man. So that's why we're waiting on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're keeping, keeping his words dear and close to our heart, man. So that we can continuously profess in the ways that he wants us to profess. You got it, bro. Uh, Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is 
he that readeth and that hear the words of this mm -hmm. prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand okay so so going like what the brother said man the time is at hand the lord said this is the high time to wake out of sleep right so if you understanding that man it's the high time to wake out of sleep you should be seeking after the lord if you can can you uh, uh, get zephaniah 2 and uh, 1 i'm gonna read this first right here though so this is high time to wake out of sleep because your how about shimmy i was shy he's coming back with anger man so deuteronomy 30 and 19 it says I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou mayest love the Lord thy power and that thou mayest obey his voice and that thou mayest cleave unto him for he is thy life and the length of thy days that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. So by us having this word, man, how about Shem Yahushua put two different platforms for us, death and life. He gave you the answer to what to choose. So if you don't choose it, that's just you. How about Shem Yahushua's hopeful electors out here hearkening unto his word? And, and his words specifically tell us to choose life. So in order for you to choose life, you have to be here in the time of his troubles, man. Because everybody else is going to die. Remember how uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and, you know, in the building of Noah and the ark and everything, man. Noah was doing it for years and years and years. And people forsaking what he was telling them. Forsaking the early warning that Yahweh Hashem Yahushua gave him. And only eight souls survived. So just imagine this time around. You know, it's more people stuck in the world than back then. It's more wickedness in the world than back then. So you have to understand that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is trying to take us out of this world by choosing life, which is of Him. You got it, bro. What you said? Zephaniah 2 and 1 through 3. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, gather the decree, bring forth, therefore the day pass as a shaft. Uh, which one? Two? Yeah. Uh, uh, start at 1. Okay. Yeah. Gather yourself together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired. One second right there. Now, who is the nations not desired, man? Uh, the two thirds. You know? you know? It's going all the way back into our whole nation, man. Our whole nation. Us Israelites as a nation, man. We're not desired here. Because they don't like the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, they always hated our Lord. So, truly, actually, we are that nation that's not desired, man. You got it. Before the decree bring forth, mm -hmm. before the day pass as a shaft, before the fierce anger of the Lord, mm -hmm. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh come upon you, before the day of the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh anger come upon you, mm -hmm. seek ye the Lord, seek all ye meek of the earth, mm -hmm. which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, no. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall hid in the day of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai's anger. So you know, he's telling you right now, man, hearkening to his words, why, like the beloved brother Aina was going into, the grace period is closing, man. So if you don't have this word, when it when those get when that grace period stops, man, you're gonna be in the in that anger. That Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is telling you to hide from, and you know us, we're trusting in the shadows of the Lord's wings, man, because it's going to be our protection from heat. Now, if you understand, if you outside and it's sunny outside and it's hot, you're going to look for shade, man. And this shade that we're looking for is of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So, uh, Salaki, yeah, Salaki, why I had, uh, I don't know. Um, shadow, you type in shadow wings or shadow of wings. Oh, okay. Because yeah, okay. it said, How excellent is the uh, guy that trusts in the shadows of, the, of his wings, man? And you know, I just wanted to bring it out so I don't butcher it. So, lock your water, brother, pull it up. But you know, uh, trusting in the Lord, man. Trusting in the Lord through everything, no matter if it's hunger, 
thirst, you, uh, just type shadow wings. Yeah, no matter if it's thirst, hunger, you know, um, affliction, you know, through prosperity, you want to be called on the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai through, through the, uh, the words of his truth, man. You can get the, uh, the, the right first here. top two, you know, the first top you start two. at 36. Okay. okay. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay, seven. now verse 7. How excellent is thy loving kindness, mm -hmm. O Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. So that's what we're just going into, man. We trusting under the shadows of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai's wings because he's going to be our covert. He's going to cover us, man. When it comes down to destruction and all of the other things that he's pushing upon the wicked, that's coming in, that he's um, laying on them, man. Those sore strokes that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah say he's going to lay on them, man. Th that's going to happen. So if you understanding and listening to the prophecies that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is pulling out, man, he, he says specifically to take a hold unto his word so that you can be hid in the day of his anger. Like in Zephaniah said, if you get the other one, one time, shadow wings in the very top one. Because um, it said, keep me as the apple of thy eye. Oh, you like that, huh? Yeah, man, that's a beautiful thing because, you know, we we are uh, something to cherish, man. Yeah, how about Shimmy Awasha? He cherishes us by keeping that cover over us, man. So, you got it, bro. Okay. Um, this is Book of Psalm 17. Uh, verse 8 keep me as the apple of the eye hide me hide me under the shadow of thy wings verse 9 verse 9 from the wicked that oppress me mm -hmm. from my deadly enemies who can pass me about hmm. so you know we're asking you how about you know shot by crying and sighing man to keep us as the apple of his eyes and hide us under the shadows of his wings man because you have to understand what we're up against, the wiles of the devil, man. So they're going to do all types of things to oppress us. You just have to be prepared through the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, through faith and truth and sincerity. But you got it, bro. Yeah, and like the scripture said, blessed is he who read of. And it's talking about these scriptures mm -hmm. and actually understanding the scriptures as well. So I'm going to grab Isaiah chapter 34 And I'm going to grab verse 16 okay. It reads Seek ye out of the book of the Lord And read No one of these shall fail None shall want her mate For my mouth it hath commanded And his spirit it hath gathered them So it's talking about The um the words that are written in these scriptures Of course because there's many books That's created but as we can see, some of our people are bugged out because they didn't read so many different books. They didn't they they mixing the, the true word with all these other doctrines and they don't know how to pick out the bones. Mm -hmm. That's why it's beautiful that the Lord set up our teachers because they understand stuff that's not, you know, sound doctrine. And they can they can tell you what's 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 proper doctrine and what's not. So that's why it's stressed that some people that's still learning that they don't really get into all these other books until they under fully understand the scriptures so they can pick out the bones because these words are pure like like we like the point of the lesson is it's not mixed it's not no mixture it's pure yeah. words that's right um, you got one or not? No. all right this is the last one i would pull out the second peter's three in verse five it says for this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of Yahweh Shem Shai, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men so you have to understand man back then in the days of old you know everybody perished man from the flood 
just like we was going into. Well, about Noah. Everybody perished from the floods, right? But now, by us having these words and the testimony of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh we're able to be reserved, man. We're able to be reserved and preserved when everybody else is destroyed by fire, man. You know, so we're going to continuously seek after Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh so that he can hide, hide us, man, when it comes down to him destroying this world. And, you know, that's just, uh, that's all I had. Uh, I'm gonna go to Second Peter chapter one, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna start at verse seventeen. It reads, "For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased." Mm -hmm. And that's the Heavenly Father talking about Yahweh Shai. So that's why, like we tell people, we must worship the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. But some people don't believe on the Son. And that's not pure doctrine. And this voice which came from heaven, we heard when we were with Him in the Holy Mount. That's this. That's Apostle Peter talking. Mm -hmm. And it's in the rest say we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day of dawn and the day star arise in your heart. And that's talking about Yahweh Shah. And we know that you know the heart means your mind. Mm -hmm. Knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is writ is of any private interpretation. Because mm -hmm. you hear a lot of people talking about everybody interprets the Bible. A certain type of way, your way is maybe different from mine, but like the scripture said, it's no prophecy of scripture, it's of any private interpretation. So, like we know, the GMS has 100% truth. It's not about what your private interpretation is. Like the word pure means it says unmixed, something well, that was one of the words in it. So, it's not mixed with anything you do, you can't mix it with your own doctrine. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have eat the whole roll, the bitter and the sweet, the, the bitter and the sweet. I'm gonna finish off for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit because that's what we understand that it's truth that when people come up saying oh who wrote that Bible who wrote that like it gets annoying to us but we understand that the Lord didn't deal with everybody directly like he it was always a mediator like when he dealt with Moses Noah etc and as we know Yahweh Shah is the mediator to the new covenant so we got to go through Yahweh Shai to get to the Father. You can't just jump straight to the Father. That's what people don't understand. But like I said, the point of me bringing that out is like it said, no scripture is a private interpretation. You can't mix your own BS with the pure doctrine that's written in these scriptures. You, you guys know Second Peter? Yeah, that's Second Peter 1. That was Second Peter 1, chapter 1. Verse what? I started at 17. 17? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got one. John, this is John, the book of John, 5th chapter, 39th verse. Search the scriptures for in them ye shall have eternal life, and they are which testify of me. This is where, um, and this, this is written in red, and that's the uh, word of, uh, of Yahweh Shai speaking. Mm -hmm. So he says, he comes in the volume of the book, and that search the scriptures. And that's what we don't do on a regular basis, but this is what we must do. We must keep, we try to encourage each other every day that you must keep your nose in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. Yeah. Just keep the words of purity and keep the words of pure, which is the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, until the end and endure, you know? Yeah. That's all I have, bro. Well, I'm going to finish with these last two scriptures. In Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And that's talking about that MOTB, that Karagma that's going to try everybody. Mm -hmm. They're going to basically say, You can't buy or sell unless you have it. But we know, according to scriptures, this pure word that if you take it, you're going to be destroyed. That's why we pray that Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, basically keep us from that hour of temptation like this scripture say which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth 
So that's basically that's that's the end all be all. And one more time, could you put up the definition of um fear again one more time? It's June there. We're gonna bring out since we're about to finish off, we're gonna bring out the word pure again. Just for you know, cause Jake, like they said, Jake got short attention span, you know. <laughs> Might have forgot what the what the um word mean. Okay. Um on Etiment Online, mid century, thirteenth century. Um that means of gold, unalloyed, uh unmixed. I'm, I'm gonna just stop right there. Unmixed, basically. I'm gonna just like, because it said of gold. Basically, so ultimately, we've been tried like gold in the fire. And that's we're gonna come out pure. When the gold is, all the impurities are burnt out of it. Basically, we're getting, we're basically going through the, the hopeful elect is going through the trials and tribulation now because we don't want to get hit by them actual missiles. Mm. But like I said, unmixed. I'm gonna grab Revelation 14. I'm gonna start at verse 9 because this is what's gonna happen. Basically, if you don't follow out of these words, it reads, and, the, and if you take that MOTB, the Karagma, it reads, and the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture. It say without mixture, pure, <laughs> into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And that's your how it shot. So, yeah, these words are pure. And like I said, if you, at the end of the day, if you take that, if you worship the beast, basically you, you bow down to the image of by all these devils, which is, as we know, America's system, the image, the system that they're trying to push, Hmm. Then you basically gonna get that wrath of your Habashim Yahweh Shah pulled out without mixture, which is pure wrath. Hmm. And I don't know about anybody else, but I'm pretty sure me and these brothers don't want to be on the on the um on the wrong side of your Habashim Yahweh Shah when that times come. So that's why we pray. Got one more, so much, but you go ahead. this Baruch four and one it says, "This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh Habashim Yahweh Shah." And the law that endure forever all they that keep it shall come to life but such as leave it shall die so like the brother was saying man if you catch that mark you're gonna die if you come into the truth profess this word and leave it to go back into the world you're going to die like the lord says second edges 15 and 4 all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness and you know the words of your how about Shem Yahweh is pure, man. So take it, man. Take it and believe. Because it's gonna come down to a time that you thinking that everything is okay, but it's not. And your how about Shem Yahweh is gonna step in and you just remember Isaiah 55 and 8. It says, Your thoughts are not my thoughts, your ways are not my ways. So is the heavens higher. So are my thoughts and so are my ways. So Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. He's, his ways is way different than what people think, man. They thinking that the Lord is going to step in and save everybody because it's Christianity doctrine been going across this world, man. But now having the truth, you understand that it's people that's going to die behind this, man. So continuously to endure, man. You got it, bro. It's just was a quick one I wanted to count. That's it, man. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. We teach and rule well with truth and sincerity. And salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.